We're going to turn now to breaking news. Uh, Toyota's automaker's top executive has just apologized, bowing to the Japanese public and the world for that massive recall uh, that has affected over 9 million cars right now. And Brian Ross is here with the latest. We see the Japanese executive right there, Brian, apologizing, bowing formally that to is the right. public. That is the president's CEO, Akio Toyota. He is the grandson of the founder of the company. This is the first time that he has spoken formally and publicly, saying he is sorry for all the concern and worry that he has caused to Toyota customers around the world. It's a crisis that has blown up uh, in the last week. Uh, Toyota also inherited a years of cost cutting at factories in Japan that many believe led to the problems. The current issue now involves the Prius. Now, he said there was no plans. They had not decided yet on whether to recall the Prius. The Prius apparently has a serious electronic problem that causes a glitch in the brakes. According to Toyota executives yesterday, they found the problem, made a fix in the software in factories, but only yesterday did they inform owners of the Prius that there was this problem. So they had been driving the car without any warning of the possibility of an issue. The U.S. government now has ordered its own investigation. In addition, the Los Angeles Times reports this morning that the Prius electronic computer also can cause the car's headlights to go out, resulting in several serious accidents. So Toyota started this week with a media blitz by its U.S. officials that was supposed to end the problems, and they've only grown worse this week, forcing the top man to come out of his protected executive office and finally face the public and the music. And Brian, they are not over yet because we learn now that this brake problem may also affect Lexus hybrids and the company's known about that for months as well. Exactly. All the hybrid cars are involved in this issue with the brake glitch and it may spread to some of the Ford hybrid cars as well. Meanwhile, we're seeing whistleblowers really crop up right now alleging that Toyota tried to cover up these problems. Yes, as you know, yesterday morning here in Good Morning America we had a former top lawyer for Toyota who said orders came from Japan to hide defect information for in lawsuits and from federal government investigators. And our person at the news conference is going to try to ask the chairman about that this morning. Okay, Brian Ross, thanks very much.